here at Allen Arena on this Saturday afternoon. Ace on doubleheader today. Stetson gets a two point win, 55 to 53. Jonathan and Justin Seaman portside here in Allen Arena, joined by the head coach, Lenny Acuff. Coach, you had a lead with about 14.35 to go, and you just don't get the possessions after that to score with. And Stetson does a great job of controlling the tempo of this game. Yeah, they did a nice job. You know, we just really had a hard time scoring, obviously. And I don't know how many baskets they scored inside the last five or six seconds of the possession, but it was it was, it was a great number. Um, you know, right first play of the game, I thought we guarded them really good. And they make a shot with two on the shot clock. And they're good. I've told everybody all year, I think they're really good. It was a great win for us down there. We didn't do a great job against their zone. Um, they, they really do a good job. They're very well coached. They're big. They're physical. And, you know, it's just, I know, I know at the, uh, I think the last media, the second half, with four minutes ago, we were shooting 20%. I mean, it, I don't care what you do. It's a hard, hard game when that ball don't go in. Yeah, I was about to say, I mean, there was plenty of times you got a lot of decent shots, especially in the first half from outside, just couldn't knock them down. And But this Stetson team, you know it's going to be a tight game. They play yeah. all their games tight, so they're very comfortable playing those tight games. And, you know, just looked like they just were a little bit more in their comfort zone throughout this game than you guys were. Yeah, th they played well. They really did, and they made timely shots, you know, like the three in the corner. Um, from number one, that was a big, big shot for them. Obviously, Panzo, that was big. And, you know, we just we had a couple of missed switches there and then one big possession. But we kept playing and, you know, but at one time we were one for 11 from three in the second half. And it's just, it's just a hard game if they're playing zone. I mean, it, and, and you don't make shots. You look at your first run through the A-Sun, what do you think now? Uh, you know, it's a good league, really good coaches. Uh, a lot of guys, everybody does a good job. And, I don't think there's a great margin of uh, separation, uh, particularly when you get below Liberty and North Florida. I think those two teams are the best two. And I think, you know, there's five or six teams that are really good, you know, that are really right there together beyond them. And um, I, I think Stetson's is one of the better two or three teams in the league. They're good. I mean, we just we just weren't good enough today, and I got to figure out a way to get us over the hump. It, just, it was just frustrating because we got it 31-26, and I liked it. I like where we were, and you know, you go like 11 or 12 possessions without scoring. It's just, you, you just can't, we're not going to shut them out. You're right on that edge, I think, with a lot of these schools and going down the stretch. There could be a lot of shuffling in the middle of the pack here and even at the top of the pack. Yeah, um, yeah, we, we just need to play better. I, I, I think that, that that was a big game for us today, and we knew going in, and we had a week to get ready. I thought we had a good plan, and uh, but it just we weren't able quite to get it over the finish line. But I was proud of our guys for continuing to play and not quitting. Um, but, you know, they made one more play than we did. Tough loss for you, Coach, as Sajla gets 15 points and 14 rebounds, another double-double for him. And now the Bisons will be back into action at North Alabama on the 6th of February, and then Kennesaw State on the 8th, both of those road games. Back home on the 13th to take on NJIT. FGCU will come to town on the 15th and then in Jacksonville on the 20th. Here today, your final score, Stetson gets away with a win here in Allen Arena. They win it 55-53. to 53. Keep up with everything happening with Lipscomb basketball at LipscombSports.com.